to the director of football, journeyman with Sporting Cristal and Football Manager 2020 with me, Foggy Place. Today we're going to have a look at the transfers that we've done so far. Uh, not that many and we're going to be playing Real Garclasso. Garclasso. Real Garclasso. Why, why am I saying it with an Italian accent? Um, <clears throat> so we're just gonna have a quick look at the season preview. Real are expected to finish. Where are they? Seventh. Hmm. Have they not won it recently? Okay, we've been one of the dominant teams. Okay, fair enough. I did not expect. I thought we'd been Allianz Lima. And Real Garclasso. Hmm. Interesting. Um, yeah. Transfer wise. We have a loan. On the go at the minute. Uh, not really for a position we. Overly need. We definitely need centre back. We are also very. Very short on centre back. Uh, the transfers we have made though however. Have been. Minimal. We did get this guy, Dylan Caro. Caro? Don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, but Luis Paredes left on a free. Don't know who he was. Uh, Pedro Torres went to Hotchpato, who is, oh, he was the ex assistant manager. He left, or assistant manager? Um, he was the second captain. What's that called? He was our second choice captain. What is the second choice captain called? Vice captain. That's the word. Oh, it's, I'm recording this at like half nine in the morning. I'm tired. I don't know what's going on. I'm confused. It's going to have to take a bit of time to go back. Okay. Uh, but then we loaned Luis Cortez. Um, not sure why he was sent out on loan. Uh, this guy is old. Not going to get in the first team. Probably would have been a good idea just to sell him, but fine. Uh, Kevin Ortiz has got out on loan. He probably could do it alone. 22, I don't think he's going to be that good. I don't even know if he's going to reach two and a half star potential, but fine. Uh, and then the strongest came in and bought two of our players M uh, Miguel Vargas, who is a centre back. Remember how I said we needed centre back? Yeah, we uh, we sold one. Six foot seven and he has seven heading. How are you that tall? And <laughs> have that bad of heading. Um but he's gone for two hundred and thirty K, which was quite good. And George Cabrera also went to the strongest. He is a he's a terrible right back. So we got a nice bit of cash money for him. His value's gone up a small bit since he left. As has Miguel Vargas. I don't I think they sold for less than their values. What's Pedro Torres' value at now? 875? Yeah. Um, I think the director of football just hoofed them out the door as fast as he could. Um, we've brought in one player so far. We've brought in Cesar Rondon, who is a Colombian central midfielder. Uh, like I said, we didn't really need central midfielders because we have Galate, Diaz, Rojas, James, Gomez, Alzamora, Polo. You know, and that's just players I know play in central midfield. Aldemar is more a winger. But as you can see, he's not a terrible central midfielder. So for the first game of the season, um, which we are expected to win, no we're not, we're expected to lose. Interesting. We've a uh, mixed bag of results against them. We have five wins, they have four wins, and we have a draw. So I'd be... I'd be interested to see how we get on. We are the early kickoff, and this is how we're lining up. We're going for a bit of a change to what we've been doing recently. We're going for a tiki taka style, not changed anything with the setup. I want to see if what the tiki taka is like. Um, I did say centre back, a problem. Sandy is a right back and is definitely not a centre back. But as it is right now, he is our second best centre-back. Because Valencia is a a right-back. And he is 
very much a right back. Eight hitting, five foot four. He is not playing a centre back. So we have Marco Rojas as our starting goalkeeper. I think he's going to be the one that starts in goal for us this season. We have Ruiz and Huacha as our wing backs. Sandy and Alvarado. Alvarado looks like a, a very, very good player. Looks like he has the potential to be very good. Something about Peru, they are not good at heading. So he has eight heading but seventeen tackling. So he comes in as probably our best centre back. Um Galese and Rendon as our central midfield. Morin, who was the guy who was unhappy when we arrived. Um, as I said, I think he's gonna be our best option out on the wing. So we're gonna give him a chance. William Munoz is another good option as well, and he's younger. So he would come towards those minimum amount of minutes we need to play. Um Campo Alzamora is gonna play on the left. Don't have an awful lot of options on the left side. Riviera, but he's been put on he's been sent away for three weeks. He's given a holiday for three weeks. I don't know. I don't know exactly why. Uh James Gomez is gonna be our attack midfielder and our sixteen year old monster striker, Hector Chumpita. No, not Chumpita. Chumpitas. Chumpitas. Gonna call him I was gonna call him the trumpet, but I think Hector. Hector. Hector O'Hakagan. Hafni Lingue Gumma gets me gumma. Right. Uh so Hector's gonna play up front. He is just after turning seventeen last month. So I'm gonna give him the chance. Free task. Free task? No, fl- um play task is the guy I think would normally be our striker, but I'm going to start the season with Hector. I think this guy is good, but he is 28. So I want to see what our 17-year-old striker can do. Because I feel like Hector is a good option. So we're going to give him an opportunity to prove as such. Um, like he does have quite good finishing. So that's definitely plus for him. We do only have only one, only have one debutant today. Where Real Garclaso one at centre back so we could take advantage of that oh they've their goalkeeper's making his debut and their right winger okay but they're making plenty of debuts today we're giving two lads a debut uh, go out there and impress me you my assistant manager doesn't think he's in a position to be able to tell our players what to do footballing wise I'm pretty sure our assistant manager used to be a footballer um, this style of play, did it just say someone had an injury? Did it just say my right back picked up an injury? He is not injured. It is fine. Um, I've never played Tiki Taka before. It's not something I've ever really tried because it's a very slow uh, style of play and I much much prefer kind of not mental but I do prefer like high press quick movement get in there bish bash bosh you know just get tackles in and and all that this seems to be a very slow methodical Boring. <laughs> Had one highlight and it was an offside. Um, I am far from pleased with what I see. Jose Ruiz. Has faith in me. Oh, you don't care. Hector's not playing that well. To be fair, debut. I'm gonna oh prove a point. Oh, assistant man. Out here telling people what what and what not. What what and what not. Oh. I was a poet and I didn't even know it. Vargas whips it in, but we get a clear. Um, I don't think we're gonna. I want to try something different because we've played. Oh my god! <laughs> we got very lucky there. Um, 
I want to try something different. We've not really, we haven't gone too far from the 424. So I'm curious if playing a different formation is going to make a difference. I don't know if this team is good enough to play the Tiki Taka. That's the only issue I'm having is what if they're not good enough? And I'm also playing an advanced forward rather than a deep line forward, which is what they want you to play in this. Um, Sandy is dying. It's going to bring on Cordoba, who is five foot nine, but still not a terrible option. And kind of want to take off Hamed. I bring on Rodrigo Polo. What can you do? You're a DM. You are a DM. Who I'm going to play at attack midfield. And there's nothing you can do to stop me. I play you as a shadow striker. I know you're almost completely incapable of actually doing it. But I believe I'm playing a player completely out of position at centre back. Willie Moran, no, nope, not Willie Moran, Kevin, Kevin Moran, heads just wide, Rendon gets the first booking of his Sporting Cristal career, which is, you know, something I'm hoping that he doesn't get too many of. Uh, we did have an awful lot of players off playing for Peru's under 20s until recently, so I would assume a lot of these players are tired, like, um, Alvarado at centre back was out playing. Uh, that guy who was sent away on holiday, he was playing in it. And someone else. So we haven't got a full strength team. But we, yeah, this tactic does leave an awful lot of. Uh, I don't think. Just putting it out there. I don't think we're tiki taka. Don't think Tiki Tack is going to work. So, for the next episode, we are probably going to have a different, uh, a different tactical style. Because it's not really worked. Our playmaker and right back had a good game. They had a good game. Our, our wingers, not so much. Um, Hector didn't have a great game, but then again, he is young so i'm not going to be overly angry with him i don't even know what he is it's fairly sporty in fairness he probably could take a bit of shouty shouty we'll see we'll have a look and see when we're going to come back and uh i might show you the other tactics that i'm considering at the moment because i was thinking a what do you think i think this formation is another one that uh, wouldn't be a terrible idea for blue with counter-attack. Uh, we just need an actual DM. So one of our DMs can just slot in here and do this. I think that might be an option. Or we're training the 424 because, you know, it's me. I love the 424. That might be a good way of getting Hector involved if we have a second striker alongside him help him out just a smidge maybe yeah um it'll probably be one of these two you see in the next one we really do want to play um an attack midfielder so maybe we just get rid of the attack and do something different but with an attacking mid or you could come back and we could be playing like two at the back and wingers with no defensive players just have a half back or something i don't know it's all up in the air. It could be anything could happen. Nobody knows. I don't even know yet. But I'm going to play with the tactics. Because Tiki Taka. We don't have good enough passing. Right. Um, when are we going to come back? That's a good question. Thanks for asking. I think we should come back for the Velez game. The first leg of Velez. And Allianz Lima. That seems like a really good time to come back. Because that is important game in the Suda America. And probably the team that's going to win the league this year, I would imagine. So, those two 
in the next episode. If you have enjoyed, please do make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. Um, what tactic style do you think we should use for the next episode? I'm thinking we do something a bit more attacking, aggressive. Maybe three at the back. Maybe two at the back. Two at the back does sound like fun. Sounds like it would be madness. We could go one at the back. Oh, back to when I was when I first took over a Colo Colo, and I wanted to play one at the back. That 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 was a that was a oh, great idea. Right, thank you very much for watching, fellas. If you have enjoyed, please do make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Share with all of your friends, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.